thank you for choosing BDSC. I mean, there's so many options out there, and we're just so very proud and privileged that you chose us to come here and have that special, unique opportunity, but also experience with us. In my point of view, graduation is not only like um, maybe a time of ending, of finishing, of completing, but I also think graduation is a new door open for us and to find a new graduator. I really appreciate all people who are sitting here, especially my English teacher, Ms. Gottlein, and she was really kind for me and she was the most irresponsible teacher I have ever seen. At the start of this year, I thought it's gonna be another boring year in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's the best year ever. <laughs> you don't know how much I appreciate this fantastic school provides the fantastic course of the education and having um, Mr. William, this fantastic person, as the teacher. So that I can have those is remarkable experiences that I would never have in my own country. Charlie started our school in January 2015. Before he came to New Zealand, he was the number one student in his school in his year level. So his own teachers tried to persuade his parents to keep him in China before he left for New Zealand. I still remember the first day I came here, I, stand, I, stand, I stood just next to my buddy and another boy came into the funnel and said, yo, bro, and, and his hand was like, like this. I said, uh, you, bro, you, me, me, sir, uh, what do you mean? My, my buddy just said, um, he's greeting you. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> well, that's quite embarrassing, and my buddy just, <laughs> yeah. And, also, I am pretty appreciate to my physics teacher, Mr. Yang, because maybe he, he didn't remember, but I do. Like, the first day I came to school and I took physics. Um, I'm not pretty sure about what I'm going to learn. And after he just explained it step by step. And that's why I invited him today. Yeah, I want to thank every, all the teachers that used to help me. Especially Mr. Chari, my DVC teacher. Like DVC is such a great subject, and also I meet my boyfriend in it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mr. Chari know him as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also Miss Scornite, she's um, the most um, patient English teacher I've ever seen. She's great. Yeah, I really want to thank thank her. At the beginning. I feel stressed, sad, and lonely every day. Sometimes I even cry for no real reason because of feeling powerless, not knowing what to do. In the economic class, I even sit on teacher's seat due to misunderstanding of what this teacher has said to me. At that moment, loneliness and regret surround me. Just staring at the flowing crowd, negative feelings pour out. Why do I come here? Do I actually belong to here? I cannot catch, catch up with changes, so I struggle in misery and confusion for about two weeks. However, things get much better after about three months. I realize that many things are just different, but not, but not wrong. I have changed my attitude and decided to face with the challenge. <clears throat> what does not kill you makes you stronger? Um, like the quote, Going, I began to study English by myself, um, attend the school activities after school, seize the opportunities as many as I can to get used to the new life. Besides, making new friends with who are not only Chinese but also Kiwis and international students from other countries indeed makes me feel better and also let me experience different cultures. Gradually, I become more patient and calm making a routine and do my assignments on time and eventually adapt to a new life, new style of life. Like Mr. Shama, he, he was always so good and so funny. Um, like, there was like Sherm economic, I think Gabriel says that. Like he is the best economic teacher ever. And uh, he changed me a lot. 
because he is the person actually take me into the door of commerce. That's actually very helpful. For Miss Collapton, yeah, she's so nice. Best photography teacher ever. And uh, she always give us good comments on the student's work, like how can we improve it, or like how do we make it even, he can actually, like he took himself into the student. She is the best teacher ever. Yeah, it's, it, it is really hard for me to speak English. It's like, I just try to speak to anyone that can, can speak Chinese to help me. But now, um, since I speak more, I think I can understand the English better now. And thanks for all the teachers I have and for the clearness you guys gave me and to help me uh, have those wonderful two years. I can still remember in the first few English lessons. I cannot follow my English teacher because she speaks so fast. And I can still remember in the first few design class when Miss Cunningham teach us how to use Illustrator. I just cannot follow her. And I keep asking Rana, what? What did he? What did she click just now? And what's the next thing? What What, what were we gonna do? And she said, I don't know either. <laughs> and like, but we keep trying and we keep practicing and we keep working hard and we get the best results we can. I'd like to say a huge thanks to Miss Kennedy. I took your design class for two years. In your class, I have improved myself a lot. And the most important is that I found my life guide in your class. I want to know more about design after I graduate, and I want to be a designer in the future. And you have no idea how much you influence me and makes me find my life guide and working hard for the children goals.